This is the boys, 11-12, 400-yard individual medley. In lane number one, Brandon Young, Team Century. Lane two, Fox Anderson, Boulder Swimming. Lane three, Sean Lee. Lane four, your leader from this morning, Benjamin Ho from Peak. His teammate in five, Waylon Fu. In six, Stuart Lau, Edmonton. Lane seven, Andrew Cho, Palo Alto. Palo Alto. And in lane number eight, Justin Farrell, Pacific Swim. So very interesting there that the, both of those boys, Maxime and... Benjamin scratch that 50 free because that would have been their head-to-head -head race to decide who would be the high point winner there for the 11 and 12 year olds I can't say that I particularly like that attitude if I mean I understand if they're friends and there's obviously a mutual respect there but for the spectators it would have been really fun to see these two superstars in the 11 12 age group battle it out it would have and both boys have had such impressive far westerns events that you wouldn't want one of them to downplay their far westerns because they didn't walk away with that title but i would have loved to see a head-to-head -head between those boys benjamin out in a 59 88 so a great leadoff leg he's about two body lengths ahead of the field who's pretty even here heading into the backstroke leg yeah the battle for second between sean lee down in lane number three and up in lane number seven or uh, lane number six, actually, that is Stuart Lau. But Benjamin Ho, all out there by himself. And backstroke is Benjamin's specialty. We've seen him sweep those events so far. So expect this lead to increase through leg number two in this 400 IM. Benjamin had a great 200 backstroke the other day. He was the only, only boy in his age group to be under the two minute mark. So that again, we forget that these are only 11 and 12 year old boys, so very promising, and Benjamin Ho being one to watch here over the next couple years. All right, I'm gonna put on my coaching hat just for a second, and again, I am not a coach, so keep that in mind as I give this opinion. Just sometimes I get to play a coach on Swimming World TV. Benjamin Ho's backstroke, so beautiful, but if you see that bounce, he's losing a little bit of momentum every time he kind of bounces throughout that backstroke maybe reaching a little bit deeper with one arm than the other and that is the only critique you can get of that backstroke because otherwise it is beautiful beautiful and it's obviously effective because he has swept the backstroke events so far this weekend that's all i'll say and technique is so hard to critique as well because sometimes it may not be proper but it works for people you know it's easy to critique phelps and say you shouldn't breathe every stroke on that butterfly but you know sometimes it just works for them and it's it's fast yeah you're right every just like a batting stance in baseball every single stroke can be different and you see the success that michael phelps has in the freestyle and compare that to the stroke that someone you know like a Ryan Lochte or a Peter Vanderke or some of the other good 200 freestylers and 400 freestylers in the country have and they're completely different you're right there is their own unique characteristics but there's certain there's certain things that you can pick at and point and say okay that type of characteristic is due to a certain I don't want to I don't want to call it a flaw but a certain trait in the stroke that could be fixed to be a little bit faster and you always got to be looking for ways to get faster even a guy like Michael Phelps is doing that all the time so uh, but you're absolutely right Tiffany different strokes for different folks I believe is the saying and that it definitely applies here in the, in the uh, Agreed, swimming I arena I, and I agree I think the younger the age a lot easier it is to straighten out these techniques but we have a great race going on here as we complete the first lap of this uh, freestyle leg still in the middle is Benjamin Ho being challenged up there in lane number six Stuart Lau if Lure, if Stuart Lau takes this win away from Benjamin Ho he might have a difficult time grabbing that high point placement but Benjamin Ho about a half a body length lead over Stuart, over Stuart Lau in lane number six and Stuart Lau did it all during the breaststroke just really eating away at the lead that Benjamin Ho built for the first 200 Stuart Lau had a great breaststroke leg, and he has the momentum, but I don't know if it's going to be enough to get past Benjamin Ho here. Stuart Lau looking great right now. The boys are almost neck and neck. Slight, ed slight edge to Benjamin Ho. The touch. Wow. Stuart Lau with Lau. a 426-01 and a 426-04 for Benjamin Ho. What a comeback that was for Stuart Lau up there in lane number six. You can hear the crowd in the background. That was an exciting swim there. Benjamin Ho, your leader, well out front the entire race. And Stuart Lau putting it together on the back half. Great breaststroke leg and rounding out with an unbelievable freestyle.
Well, we might have...